most of the viewers would have heard about philosophers like Sun Tzu and Confucius who are very famous even outside of China. But there are other philosophers like Han Fei and his legalism is something that has had a profound impact on Chinese kings and the dynasties that ruled China going back to the Warring States period. Warring States period was a very complicated phase of Chinese history when small kingdoms were fighting each other for control. Scholars have described Han Fei as China's Machiavelli and the reason for that is Han Fei has a very realist view of politics. He introduces the idea of Si which calls for a prince to control power from the very get-go so that his other uh, adversaries cannot control power and you have the complete control and therefore this whole notion of power through competition is something that Han Fei has introduced and the kings and the princes of China have taken note of it. Han Fei's philosophy is captured by the term legalism. That's how they teach Han Fei's philosophy nowadays. And if you closely look at the kind of system that China has in context of the social credit system, there's an inbuilt rewards and punishment mechanism. And that's tied to what Han Fei had proposed when he spoke about controlling the subjects by giving them rewards and punishments. So the social credit system that China has right now in different sectors gives out rewards for better behavior and also punishment to certain citizens. So uh, where does that idea come from? It's exactly Han Fei's philosophy that's applied to modern Chinese context. So these ideas have made return at different times of Chinese history. Then why has Han Fei made a return in the 21st century is because she actually reads Han Fei closely and he has quoted from Han Fei a couple of times. And there's a quote which says, no country is permanently strong nor is any country permanently weak. If those who impose the law, Ding Fa, are strong, the country will be strong. And if the laws are weak, the country will be weak. This is a quote that has appeared in multiple publications where she has written. And this is something which tells us that she and his other leaders are quite inspired by what Han Fei proposes in terms of controlling power and having a certain control over the subjects by giving out punishments and rewards. That's the idea Han Fei introduced in his philosophy that you have to give out rewards as well as punishments to balance the power so that you know who is with you and sometimes you might have to give out very severe punishment to your adversaries and completely remove them from the arena of power. And that's the kind of philosophy Han Fei introduced in a period which had multiple kings fighting against each other and this explains why Han Fei is called China's Machiavelli.